So Saturday was the big day for us theme park fans as at Destination D23, the expo taking place at the Contemporary Resort, Disney gave their theme park presentation regarding upcoming projects that guests can expect to encounter in the very near future. So what are we getting? When's Tron opening? We don't know. Oh, Splash Mountain? Tiana's still showing up or is that... Oh, we didn't talk about it. No news on that. Okay. They announced Paint the Night though, right? For Orlando? No. No nighttime parade. No. Still no nighttime parade. Five years? Okay. Yeti getting fixed? Churros are back. Did they leave? Yeah, it was all right, I guess. Some cool things are coming back and we're here to tell you about it in the next 300 seconds. So, let's do it. All right, let's kick things off with the Walt Disney World Entertainment news that we've been waiting over 18 months for. The Festival of Fantasy Parade will be making its way back to Orlando beginning in 2022. The Magic Kingdom has been paradeless outside of the recently relaunched Christmas Parade and FOF will be returning at some point next year. Josh DeMauro made the announcement surrounded by some of the characters who are featured in the entertainment offering. Where are the Grand Marshal banner holders? All right, that's what I'm asking. They're the stars. The Festival of Fantasy has been cruising down Main Street since March of 2014. We now have confirmation that we will soon once again hear the infamous trumpets at 3 p.m. Eastern. Over to Hollywood Studios and the other big dog in the entertainment field, as it would not be outdone, Fantasmic will also be appearing again beginning next year. What's exciting about Fantasmic specifically is that the show will come with new technological updates and even new scenes that incorporate Moana and Frozen. Now, to be completely honest, there was never really any doubt that Fantasmic was going to come back. The theater is literally built for Fantasmic specifically. Either way, it's still nice to get confirmation. Disney was noticeably quiet regarding actual opening dates for both offerings, but I'd expect to see them sooner rather than later. Despite FOF returning, cavalcades are apparently here to stay as a brand new cavalcade will be making its way through the Magic Kingdom with the Disney Adventure Friends Cavalcade. A new interesting group of uh, Disney friends will be appearing together in this offering as you'll be able to see anyone from Elena to Clarabelle Cow. The cavalcades have proven to be popular with guests so it appears Disney is going with the if it ain't broke, don't fix it approach. Staying in the Magic Kingdom, Mickey's Royal Friendship Fair will be coming back, but this time with a new name, Mickey's Magical Friendship Fair. According to show director Tara Anderson, hooray Tara, the show will feature a new song and new outfits for both the characters and dancers appearing in front of guests. Finding Nemo, the big blue and beyond has been announced as the replacement for the Finding Nemo musical at Animal Kingdom. The theater in the wild had hosted shows like Tarzan Rocks and of course the Finding Nemo musical before now hosting this new edition. The show will feature songs made popular by its predecessor. Over to Epcot and it was Guardians of the Galaxy getting confirmed for a 2022 release. The brand new coaster is set to be the longest fully enclosed coaster in the entire world. Disney gave Disney, aka ABC, a preview of the coaster last month and you can really see how massive the show building is. Looks much taller than Rock and Roller Coaster. Disney has also released the official poster for the ride which is tremendous. The poster blends the new age of Epcot with a nod to the park's history with the ride vehicles traveling through space. Check out the old Horizons poster right next to it. Definitely don't think that's a coincidence. There was also these new pieces of concept art that showcase the queue in which guests will wait before boarding the roller coaster. We are getting closer to the maiden voyage. No, not of the Disney Wish, but of the Galactic Star Cruiser Hotel opening next to Hollywood Studios. The aforementioned Josh DeMauro visited the new insanely priced destination to try out some of the lightsaber training, and Disney gave us a look inside. Here you can see Josh fending off some lasers with a saber. Reception has been positive to the video, but many are pointing out that Josh would have stood absolutely no chance 
had any of those lasers actually been pointed at his chest, must have been stormtroopers firing at him. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Inside 300. Be sure to stick around later this week when we come out with a new video focused on the 2021 Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade because Disney's got some involvement. So we'll cover it for you live from the Big Apple. I've been your host, Brian Perry. If you like what you saw, be sure to subscribe. Click that bell icon. This way you're notified every time we come out with brand new content. And as always, bye-bye. <laughs>